Inner Space is a sci-fi comedy directed by Joe Dante, uh, produced by Steven Spielberg. It stars Dennis Quaid as a hotshot pilot, uh, whose name I cannot remember. But anyways, he's a bit of a drunk, uh, brash man. And however, he is going to test out a new revolutionary sci-fi technology. He goes into a submersible. They shrink him using one, uh, using these two prototype microchips. However. Uh, I guess terrorists or thieves break into the lab and they steal one of the microchips so that they can't unshrink Dennis Quaid, who's in the sub, who's uh, shrunken in a syringe. So one of the brave doctors uh, or scientists is able to grab the syringe, go to the mall and accidentally uh, injects a random person. That person ends up being hypochondriac grocer, uh, played by Martin Short, and he basically uh, you know, doesn't know what's going on. He's about to go on a cruise. However, he can't because uh, now there's a little man in his bloodstream and uh, Dennis Quaid is able to communicate with him and basically convinces him to, you know, sa save his life because he's only got 24 hours of oxygen. So now Martin Short, you know, a very neurotic person has to become the hero of the story. So he teams up with uh, uh, the pilot's um, ex-girlfriend Meg Ryan great in this role and uh, the, it's a really goofy comedy a lot of weird stuff going on it doesn't take itself too seriously it takes a little while to get going because you know you're first you're sort of like with Dennis Quaid in the lab and then all of a sudden you're with this random grocery guy who's like in the uh, you know having a meltdown at work uh, but overall it's it's a fun enjoyable very very 80s for sure um, it won the Oscar for Best Visual Effects. That's kind of the reason why I wanted to watch it. Uh, I didn't do very well at the box office, but I just wanted to watch it for the visual effects, so, which are pretty cool. There's, they hold up, you know. 1987, it still looks fine today. Dennis Quaid doesn't get to do much in the movie. It's uh, scene stealers are Martin Short and Meg Ryan. They're both really great in this movie. A lot of weird, wacky set pieces, and you know, it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's an enjoyable sci-fi comedy romp. It's not like the next classic, but uh, you know, it's worth checking out. So I give it a 6 out of 10.